Hey guys, how's it going? In this video, we're going to be doing a wireless charging test between the Note 10 Plus and the Note 9. With the introduction of the Note 10 and the Note 10 Plus, we have a new wireless charger from Samsung that charges at 15 watts, opposed to the Note 9's previous wireless charging technology of 10 watts. So here with me, I have the new Samsung 15 watt charger, and I also have a Chotec 10 watt charger. I'll show you now that this is indeed a 10 watt charger. And just for point of reference, 15 watt charging is the same speed as the adapter that comes with the Note 9. So it's very nice to see that level of charging speed now coming to the Note 10 Plus. The Samsung 15 watt wireless charger is powered by the same 25 watt adapter that comes with the Note 10 and Note 10 Plus. You get one of these adapters if you purchase this 15 watt charger. And this Chotec wireless charger on this side is powered by a Qualcomm Quick Charge 3.0 adapter. So both of these wireless chargers are going to be able to give their maximum output of 10 watts and 15 watts respectively. All right, so it's actually the next day now. We are finally ready to do our wireless charging test between the Note 10 Plus and the Note 9 with the 15 watt and 10 watt charger. So we have each device down to 1%, airplane mode turned on, Wi-Fi turned off, no SIM card and other device, no background process is running. The only thing that is on is the always on display and that always on display is on max brightness, which realistically within a full battery's life takes only a few percentage points. So it's not really gonna sway the results all that much, but something to definitely keep in mind. And let's get started. All right, so after about 10 minutes or so here, we don't really have too much of a difference. On the Note 10 Plus, we're at 12%, and on the Note 9, we are at 9%. If you need to charge in a pinch, you're not really gonna go to wireless charging. You can obviously see this is slower charging than the wired alternatives. All right, so 25 minutes in here, check in real quick, 23% on the Note 10 Plus and 16% on the Note 9. So the Note 10 Plus is very slowly getting away from the Note 9 here. And so we can see it's only like a 7% difference. And really, if you're using one of these devices on its own, you're really not gonna notice that much of a difference after just 25 minutes of wirelessly charging. But on the flip side, if you're absolutely out of battery, you have no battery left, then obviously 23% is a lot better than having only 16%. All right, just past 45 minutes here, we can see the Note 10 Plus is at 38% and the Note 9 is at 27%. So once again, especially as time passes more here, we can definitely see that the difference is not that significant. And we can also conclude at this point that the Note 10 Plus is not wirelessly charging at its full max 15 watts. And that isn't uncommon. We can see right on the box for the fast wireless charger that it's a max of 15 watts. There's a little asterisk up here. And down here it says, the power output will be between 10 and 15 watts. So it's not gonna be that consistent 15 watts the entire time compared to wire charging. For whatever reasons, there will be fluctuations in that charging speed and it's not gonna be as fast and direct and efficient as wire charging. When we did start this wireless charging test, down here it said there was an hour and 50 minutes until full. So really, if it was charging at its full capability, then only about 37 minutes would have passed and we would be at this percentage. But you can see that about 10 more minutes than that, around 48 minutes have passed and this has only cut off about 37 minutes from the 48 minute timer that we have here so far. So definitely something to keep in mind if you're looking to pick up one of these fast wireless chargers. It's not going to always charge at that full maximum capability. And again, 46% on the Note 10 Plus and 32% on the Note 9. We can definitely see again here and further confirm that there is a major difference between wire charging and wireless charging, even if you're using the same wattage. Our Note 9, when charging with the 15 watt wire charger, was at around 70%. And I had gotten a lot of comments that that was actually on the slower end than what a lot of people with their Note 9s are getting. A lot of people were saying they're getting around 80% after that one hour mark with the 15 watt charger. And yes, the Note 10 Plus battery is slightly larger than the Note 9, but still we can see here we're at 48% after that one hour with this 15 watt wireless charger. So again, we can further confirm that this is definitely not getting that full 15 watts of charging. All right, 90 minutes here, hour and a half, 64% on the Note 10 Plus and 44% on the Note 9. So after an hour and a half, we have a 20% difference between the 15 watt charger and the 10 watt charger. 
All right, an hour and 50 minutes in, I wanted to say something here because when we originally started this charging test, the Note 10 Plus said it was going to be fully charged in one hour and 50 minutes. And we can see here that we are at 77% charge and it says we still have 37 more minutes to go. And same story over here with the Note 9 charging. It said at the beginning it was gonna take two hours and 50 minutes to charge to full and we still have an hour and 20 minutes left after an hour and 50 minutes. That's obviously more than two hours and 50 minutes combined. Now I have seen other YouTubers do this test and at around an hour and 55 minutes or so, they were getting that full charge on their Note 10 Plus that was listed here. So this is just a good example to show that sometimes your results may vary. You might not always get that advertised spec. And I'm not quite sure what's going on here because this is my second day in a row trying this test. I just thought the first day something was wrong. So I did it again today and I'm getting the exact same result today. And as you can see, I am plugged into the wall here with the Samsung 25 watt adapter. We also have that faster wireless charging turned on on both of the phones. There is a setting you can turn on in your phone. I think it's on by default for faster wireless charging. So that setting is on and we are still not getting to a full 100% charge after one hour and 50 minutes, even though that is the advertised spec. That is what it says on paper you will get, but you can see that we are getting a different result here. What we can take from this at this point, this charger definitely does charge faster than the Note 9. We almost have a 25% difference now. Okay, we are finally at 100% fully charged on the Note 10 Plus, but after two hours and 26 minutes, we're at 70% charge on the Note 9, and we're fully charged at 100% on the Note 10 Plus. So yes, the new 15 watt wireless charging technology and the new Samsung 15 watt wireless charger do indeed charge faster than the Note 9 and it's 10 watt wireless charging, but I don't think it's that huge of a difference and I don't think it's worth $80 to pick up that wireless charger. And look, I get it. I see all the comments of all the people saying, Shane, you're so cheap and look at all these poor people in the comments, but let's be real here, $80 for a charger that charges your device in two hours, give or take. When included in the box with the device, you get a charger that'll charge your phone up in half the time in one hour. It just does not make sense to pick up this wireless charger from Samsung, especially at $80. Now, I know in this video, I did not do a wireless charging test with the Note 10, the standard Note 10. If you're looking to pick this up for the Note 10, you're gonna get even slower charging speeds. So we can see here on the back of the box, maximum charge power, Galaxy Note 10, maximum power is 12 watts. And we also concluded in a previous video that the Note 10 does not charge at the same 25 watt speed as does the Note 10 Plus. I'll leave a link here for that video if you haven't seen it yet. But that'll do it for this video. In the next video, we're going to be doing a battery drain test between the Note 10 Plus and the Note 10. While the Note 10 has a smaller battery than the Note 10 Plus, the screen is also smaller. So I'm curious to see which one drains battery faster, which one is going to give you that longer battery life. So make sure you stay tuned for that by subscribing to the Shane Simons YouTube channel today. And if you enjoyed this video, then be sure to give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below on what you thought of these charge times. I hope to see you around for the next video. Thanks for watching. Take care.